The search and recovery operations for equipment from the riverbed were organized by the Nakhodka search team. Initially, the team was looking for a Soviet T-34 tank, which, according to local residents, had sunk in the river during wartime. However, the search for the tank was unsuccessful, but instead, a valuable piece of World War II history was found, the German half-track tractor SDKFZ-8. Following this discovery, a decision was made to begin the recovery operation. On September 25, 2021, with the help of specialized equipment and divers, the vehicle was brought to the surface. Despite being underwater for a long period, the SDKFZ-8 largely retained its original appearance. The undercarriage remained intact, as did most of the chassis, and the radiator also survived. During the operation, a German soldier's belt was found, which allowed researchers to identify that the vehicle belonged to the second company of the 1st Battalion of the 10th Tank Regiment of the Wehrmacht, part of the 8th Panzer Division. The discovery of an intact chassis, frame, and key components was described as rare. Although the engine was in poor condition, experts noted that restoring it was feasible. The thin metal of the structure had been damaged by time and water, but was considered repairable. The most significant aspect was that the unique frame and undercarriage remained intact and corrosion-free, preserved by the silt and clay of the riverbed. Restoring such a vehicle could take a considerable amount of time. For the best outcome, as many original parts as possible should be used. The undercarriage required only minor cosmetic work, but the engine, potentially a rare Maybach model, could take years to restore. The vehicle sank during the winter of 1941 to 1942. During battles for the village of Selishche, which was liberated by the 844th Rifle Regiment of the Red Army on December 24, 1941. During these operations, the Red Army managed to launch a successful offensive, pushing German forces back across the Volkhov River. In addition to the SDKFZ-8, searchers also found around 40 anti-tank obstacles on the riverbed. The German tractor has now become the second significant World War II find. Previously, a Soviet BA-6 armored car was retrieved from the bottom of the Mali Volkovitz River in the Novgorod region. The SDKFZ-8 was a heavy half-track military tractor introduced in 1939 and used by the Wehrmacht throughout the war. It was primarily employed for towing heavy howitzers, anti-tank guns, and anti-aircraft artillery. Variants of self-propelled anti-aircraft units were also developed on its chassis, including those equipped with the powerful 88mm Flak 18 gun. Restoration work is planned to ensure that this historical vehicle can eventually take its place in a World War II military museum. If you want more, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and leave a like. Thank you.